black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, we gotta bang out these breastuses to get them flat and circular for the taco shell. Oh. All right, saran wrap over. A little bit of room for the chicken to slide. Get your hammer of thaw and just pound it out. Okay, she's nice and thin, and just to keep it taco-like, like a circle, I'm just gonna trim this off and work with this. Okay, gotta make a batter. Got some flour here. A little Old Bay to spice things up. Can of Perrier. All right, just looking for like pancake batter, basically. Not too thin, not too thick, just right. All right, so this is how it's going down. We got flour, we've got our pounded out chicken breast. We're gonna coat the breast in flour on both sides. Just a thin coating of flour. And then we come out of the flour, into the batter. Just get some of this batter onto the chicken. And then this goes into the crumb. Now we're in the crumb. She's a sticky operation, but that side should have some decent amount of crumb on it. And we flip, and we crumb this side. This is panko. Okay, so we're on the parchment. Now we have to make it a taco shape. So we take another piece of parchment and simply Fold it in half in the direction that you think is the most taco-like for the shape of your chicken. Fold it into a taco. And then we do the rest of them and we put these in the freezer for a while. I'm gonna put mine in for like a whole day. Okay, so I pulled these from the freezer, let them kind of just thaw out a little bit here. So we have to do a little magic and try to pull out the paper from the middle. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. All right, we gotta go ahead and pull this paper out of the middle. They're able to flex a little bit. So we just zoop, pop that out. And there we have our battered, folded chicken taco shell. Now it's time to fry these babies up. All right, oil popping off at about 330 degrees right now. And I'm coming in like this, you're gonna see. I got it kind of open so the inside will crisp. And I got this obviously to kind of keep it from going flat or anything like that. Let's see if we can fit her in here or if I'm gonna be shit out of luck. I think that looks good. And I have a perfect pulling stick for when it's done. So that worked out immaculate, immaculate vibes. Probably let this guy go for maybe eight minutes. Okay, here we are. I think we have arrived at the final cooked product. It's looking very good to me. We still got the taco shape. Everything's nice. We're not burnt. And so we put it on a nice paper towel tray and we do three more. All right, just pulled the last one of these babies off, this guy right here. And as they've been hot, I've been salting them as they come out because I do feel like we need a little bit of salt to make things pop around here. So boom, we hit it with just a little sprinkle on each side. But here's what we're working with, final product. Looking very delicious, very crispy, very evenly cooked, nice in the middle. Really need to order some taco holders off the old Amazon machine, but uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna use this little pan here, some tin foil for non-slippage, and hope I can just kind of dress these all together in this pan unit situation here. So I think I can only fit three comfortably for now. All right, let's dress these things up in true Taco Bell fashion. So I do believe we go sour cream in the center for some sticky adhesive and we come in with plenty of latouche nice cold chilled shredded latouche okay we got some nice tomato cubes and then i'm gonna go another squirt of s cream for stickiness cheese right on top you guys know me, I'm always pulling the 
pickled shallots move. It's just my thing. I love these pickled shallots on anything like this. And then I'm just gonna hit it with a little Valentina Drizz. And that's what we're looking at. The naked chicken chalupa. Perfectly stuffed up. Just gotta repeat process a few more times. All right, two more complete, fully dressed, ready to ride. This is a big shout out to Angela Eats TV. We'll talk about her more in just a moment. But here they are. Naked Chicken Chalupa Taco Challenge Achieved, I do believe. Let's get to eating these. All right, yeah. All right yo, what up with good y'all? Welcome to today's video. Big shout out right off top to Angela Eats TV. She slid in the old subscriber sponsored request DM area and challenged me to a video that she already made on her channel. And that was naked chicken tacos or maybe chalupas you might want to call them. Either way, she said she's been watching the channel for a long time and she wanted to see if I was up to task uh, to recreate a video of her. So I will leave her channel linked down in the below in the comments and uh, you can go check her channel out, subscribe if you'd like. And uh, once again, thank you for sponsoring this video and thank you for the challenge. I've never made these, of course, uh, and I think I've only eaten them once in my life and actually it was way back in the day on this channel. So <laughs> maybe we'll talk about that a little bit here, but they're looking banging. I think I did a pretty good job uh, and we need to eat them. But before we do anything more, we must pour. So I got myself a nice little uh, diet peps on deck. We got a sled super sender today <laughs> and I bought some mini diet Pepsis at the Dollarama. That's what we call it up here. I don't know what you guys call it. Dollar Tree? Something like that. Ours is Dollarama. We've gone through so many renditions of dollar stores. It used to be uh, Mighty Dollar, Buck or Two. Uh, what else has there been? Dollarama. I don't know. There's so many. I don't even know. Like, in my head, I'm like, is it the same company just reinventing every time? Or do you like new dollar store tycoons come in and be like <laughs> my dollar store will survive longer than your dollar store i don't know it's weird but anyway shout out the dollar store it's a good store you can get so many good things there um to make your life you know better on the cheap it's real plastic bags garbage bags just like throwable products i find to be really nice and cheap there so Boom, let's get it. Okay, this one is looking like my favorite. It was the best pounded out breast assist. Like it, it kind of was the nice and like kind of flat and really taco-esque in shape. And it's just the specimen of the bunch. So, so there we go. And up close, look ski. Side view profiles, what you call that? Profile shot. I got to move these guys to the side just a little bit here. Get my shallot back on and get in for a true bite. I know this is going to be very delicious. This is all in my wheelhouse of flavor town. Yeah, of course. So there's the chicken, nice and cooked. That panko got the legit crunch on it. The salt after they come out of the oil, necessary. Very interesting concept of a of a dish, of a food item. I don't know who really thought of it or why, but 
I guess Taco, Taco Bell did put it on the scene a while back. I will say the process is elaborate. If you're impatient, this ain't the one for you. End result, however, delicious. Mm, I love the crunch. I'm such a sucker for crunch. Mm -hmm. I wish I could buy Taco Bell sauce in bulk. just to have in a bottle like that at all times it would be amazing That was definitely like a 9 out of 10. All right. Round two. I wasn't anticipating how hefty these things are, actually. These are really quite big. I thought they would be less so, but they are not. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I do want more sour cream on a per bite basis though. I got my sour cream sack here that I fashioned up for the squirting. Right there though. That's the bite. With a little extra Valentine. Dreams. coming out the back yeah I remember I was living in uh, the video in my condo and talk about how just come out with the naked chicken chalupa I want to say 2016 Fuck, time flies. And uh, I remember the video very specifically because I made it like a comedy video and I had never done one before, but I made like a mukbang comedy where I inserted clips, like funny clips. As I tried it. And the video itself was very ADD. I personally found it highly entertaining, but 
it's something at the time nobody had really done. And the the way people received it were like, <laughs> some people were like, this is amazing, this is hilarious, do more of this. And a lot of people were like, this is too much. It's too like hyper, <laughs> too much like intensity going on. Funnily enough, some years later, another mucker started inserting funny clips into their videos. And people love it. <laughs> But he did it in a more like less less hyper way. A little more sl slow and tasteful. My shit was overkill. I don't know what I was thinking when I thought I could eat four of these. Psycho. Two is plenty. They're low key, they're like hefty, very hefty. Definitely, if you have the patience, though, give them a try. They are delicious. I almost added beef to them too. But I decided against and went with the traditional Taco Bell way. That's how you know it's from the dollar store. When these bottles are new, the writing, you have to wash, you have to like wash it off first. Like scrape it off because it just always, it always lifts off the bottle. So annoying. All right. Final bite. This will be enough for me. Two of those is plenty of food. I can't believe I thought I was going to be able to eat four. Ridiculous. All right. So, yeah. Challenge complete. Once again, big shout out to Angela East TV. Y'all go check her out. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Drink your Pepsi. Eat good. 
live well. Stay true.